Lightning McQueen with Shovel has always been one of my favorite variations of Lightning McQueen because I just love the detail on him and his expression really matches the scene in the movie when he's scraping up the road. So I'm very, very delighted that Dynaco Blue 43 suggested this variation of Lightning McQueen for me to review. He makes great content on his channel and he also supports my channel a lot. I really do appreciate all the comments you leave on my videos. I really, really do. Thank you. And now let's get into today's suggestion video. If you'd like to make a suggestion of your own, please watch the video in the description below explaining how to do it properly so you don't make an invalid suggestion or birthday request for that matter. And now let's get into a review of Lightning McQueen with Shovel. So first we're going to talk about his appearance in the movie, then we'll move on to his releases, and finally we'll get into the review of the actual diecast. So Lightning McQueen with Shovel obviously appeared in the first Cars movie after he lost the race to Doc Hudson. This race, of course, was to determine if McQueen would stay and finish the road or leave after he made that jagged version of the road. He was very rushed. He wanted to get out of there. So he just drove as fast as he could with Bessie attached to him and did a very, very sloppy job on the road. So, of course, if you watch the Cars movie, he lost the race because he was very cocky and he fell into a bunch of cacti, a big batch of them, and Doc Hudson didn't even race, basically. He just kind of drove over to the cliff there because he knew that McQueen wouldn't be able to make the turn. Now, a common misconception is that this is the cacti Lightning McQueen that appeared when he fell into the cacti after losing to Doc Hudson. Actually, when he fell into that cacti and made her pull them out, he was actually unscathed. He didn't have any cacti on him. He actually got this cacti when he was practicing making that turn again. A couple nights later, I believe, he was making the turn trying to practice with it because he just couldn't stand that he didn't make that turn and then he fell into the cacti again and that's when this one appeared. I just wanted to clear that up if anyone was confused. Now back to Lightning McQueen with Shovel. Of course, since he lost the race, he had to stay and scrape up the road that he already made, which was very, very sloppy, like I said. And so you can see him in the movie just kind of pushing and breaking off the pieces of the road that he already paved. But of course, it was a terrible job because he just wanted to get out of there. He was very, very ticked off that he had to stay. Now let's talk about his three releases ever in the Cars line. Actually, a fourth one will be upcoming and I'll talk about that in a moment here as well. But his first release was in the 2010 Final Lap Collection as a single. As you can see, it was released as a single Final Lap Collection. Here's the back if you're interested. It just has a checklist of some other Final Lap releases. And then he was actually released, <clears throat> excuse me, as a lenticular single with lenticular moving eyes, of course. And in 2013, 2014, he was released in a Radiator Springs Classic 3-pack called Fix in the Road with Sarge and Fillmore. And in 2017, in case S, which will be the first case of 2017 that is supposed to come out in October, but since everything has been delayed, I wouldn't expect to see it until late November maybe early December, and that case is supposed to have a single of Lightning McQueen with Shovel, probably in the Radiator Spring series, but we really don't know at this point. And now, let's get on with the review of McQueen with Shovel here. This is one of the releases that has a moth plate. It was made during the 2010 period, and they used moth plates a lot during that period. The 2013-2014 release also has a moth plate. They didn't upgrade him to a unibody, but maybe the 2017 release of him will actually be a unibody. I sure hope so. And if you don't know, moth plates are these plastic pieces right here that are a different piece than the main metal body. They did this so it was easier to switch out the expressions of the mouth there. And now 
they actually found a way around that so they don't have to use mouth plates anymore. As you can see, he has this very, very detailed shovel. It is plastic attached to the bottom of the base there. Very, very detailed as you can see. It looks like it's been scraping up a road like this, although not as nice as that one. Of course, there's the mouth play again. It does have the Mackay Rusty's bumper ointment logo on the hood there. Rear and formula, just like the regular McQueen and mostly all of them. I just really love the detail on him, like I said at the beginning of the video. He's got all this gray detailing going up the sides, and as you can see there in the rims, it's because he's scraping up the road and it's getting very, very dirty. There's no really way around that because you're working with all this dust and just a lot of gravel kind of upsplash from... I'm not really sure how to explain it, how it gets there. I mean, you guys know the gravel, all that stuff that was from Bessie transferred to the road. And, you know, he just got dirty. Just, that's what I'm trying to say here. He got dirty. And you can see there with his tires and the rims, they're gray in the middle from the gravel. You can see it going up the side there as well. And I'm really glad that they decided to do this because it really would just then be McQueen with shovel if they didn't do it. So it's really like a detailed road repair lane mcqueen which i will show the actual road repair lane mcqueen in a couple moments here with that additional shovel very very nice here's the base if you're interested we have mattel inc the date stamp and disney pixar made in china so relatively clean for compared to the releases nowadays that are really, really clogged. Here is a 2016 release of Lightning McQueen. As you can see, how much more information is on the base. Now we got these two codes up here and the Netherlands address. Just a lot more than what was previously on the base. And you guys know my opinion about that. I don't like it. No, I don't like it at all. <laughs> and here on the side here, he has some additional sponsors besides Rust E, such as Mood Springs, Gasprin, no stall and octane gain. He's got his bolt 95 on either side and on the roof there. He's got the Lightning McQueen signature, but it is kind of blocked out there, at least on this side from the black tar upsplash spray, whatever you want to call it. This is one of the versions of Lightning McQueen that has the Rusty's logo on the spoiler. Early releases of McQueen from 2006 to 2008 about did not have that logo on the spoiler. He does have a Rusty's logo on both sides. Same logo on the hood, just a lot smaller. And on the back bumper, it says Medicaid bumper ointment. Another Rusty's logo and 95 over the right tail light. And that's all from McQueen himself. Very, very nice. Like I said, I really do love the detail on him because it makes it a lot more realistic than just having a clean Lightning McQueen with shovel when you clearly know that he's not clean because he's been scraping up a road for pretty much, I'm sure it took him a while to scrape up that entire road. And now I want to show you guys the lenticular version of Lightning McQueen. I actually put that one in my package because I originally got the lenticular version of Lightning McQueen with shovel and then just last year I bought the non-lenticular version because of course I prefer the non-lenticular versions of cars over the lenticular version so I do of course still have the lenticular one and there are a couple differences probably the most noticeable one besides the eyes there is the fact that the shovel is actually different you can see that the detailing on it is completely different different colors and i really don't know why this is maybe all of the detailing on all of the versions of lightning mcqueen shovel like all the individual ones made are different like slightly i'm not really sure check your version of lane mcqueen with shovel and tell me how does your detailing and the dirt and whatnot compare to the ones that i have here because clearly between the lenticular one and the regular one they are very very different and the body a lot more black detailing going across the body a lot more specs as you can see there and there and there on the regular non-lenticular version you know it's a lot more clean and it's a lot more kind of like flat i'm not really sure how to explain this one either but it really is just kind of a lot lighter and it's really just kind of spread out whereas this one it's all kind of like in 
bulges in places. You know what I'm saying? You can see that. And I really don't know why it's so different between the two of them. You can see that on the shovel there, like I said, different colors between the black splotches and this one being relatively cleaner. I really don't know. Maybe this is the Lightning McQueen with shovel that uh, appeared 30 minutes before this one did. Nah, I'm just kidding. But it's very interesting, and that's why I wanted to show it. Plus, Dynaco Blue 43 asked me to show the lenticular version. The rims are also different there, as you can see. I do not mind showing lenticular versions of the car that I'm reviewing at all. And if you personally want me to compare the car that I'm already reviewing to another car, and if it's reasonable, just let me know. And I'm obviously not going to compare Chucky to... The Dynaco Semi, I mean, that doesn't really make sense. But if it's something like this, and it does make sense, without a doubt, I'll do it. And the bumper actually has a little bit more detailing on the lenticular version here than on the normal version. You can see that there's a little bit more gray going on on the bumper there. So I just wanted to point that out. It's very, very interesting how different the detailing is. And now I'd like to compare Lane McQueen with Shovel to a few more variations of McQueen that are rather similar in detailing. We have Road Repair Lane McQueen, who was released last year in 2015. He's a nice release for sure. I really do like this version of McQueen. The only thing that I don't really care for is how happy he looks and the fact that the teeth are just so white and clean. I just feel like... Maybe just make the expression a little bit smaller and maybe at this time he really wasn't that happy until a little bit later on. I just feel since they called it Road Repair Lane McQueen, stressing the fact that he was repairing the road, I'm not really sure that he should be so happy, but it's a nice release. And you can see that the detailing is relatively the same. He's got a lot more dirt than gravel and tar on him. That's really the main difference. He also has that tar splotch there, which he got before this, or actually after this, my bad, because he scraped up the road and then he was going very slowly and actually doing the road like he should have done in the first place and that's when he got the tar splotch. So really, he was not happy when he got the tar splotch at all there. So the detailing is a lot less and it's more dirt than gravel and tar. So that's all for Road Repair McQueen. I do have the Dirt Track version of Lane McQueen, which has not been released in quite some time. It'd be nice to see a re-release of it. It's just very, very different because it's got a matte finish versus a glossy finish. It'd just be really cool to see it back in the basic lineup. And I just wanted to show him because they're really all these dirty versions of McQueen. This is basically the comparison between all the dirty McQueens because there are quite a few of them. McQueen got pretty dirty during the movie when he's going about fixing the road, driving through all that dirt and whatnot. And here is Impound Lightning McQueen, a version of McQueen when he was in Impound. And he does have a little bit of gray detailing along the side there. It's very, very minor at this point. It's very early on in the movie, so you can't really expect him to have that much dirt and whatnot. But he does have some probably upsplash or wind dust from being in the impound overnight and driving a little bit crazy <laughs> while he was trying to find Mac. Of course, you guys know that scene. Spin Out McQueen was produced by that. And that really is all for Lightning McQueen with Shovel. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope this review lived up to what you'd hoped it'd be, Dynaco Blue 43 and I do apologize if this review was kind of off, or my commentary was a little off. I'm a little tired right now. It was the first day of school, and if you're wondering it, well, it was pretty fine. And no complaints. I have nothing really to say about it. But you guys know, I mean, first day of school is never the best thing in the world. Just gotta get used to it after a while. So let me know what you guys think about this review. I really do appreciate you watching my review, and I'll see you guys on Saturday for a review of hopefully Vic Vanley. I thought it was going to arrive yesterday, but it didn't. And so hopefully it'll arrive today, and then I can review it tomorrow, and then upload it on Saturday. That would be just the perfect scenario. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review, like I said before, and I'll see you guys on Saturday for another review. Bye now.